Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thank you for being here, and thank you for the super things. And thanks you for all the thumbs ups and the comments and following me. I greatly appreciate it. So today it was, there was a video I saw on YouTube and it was of Amber doing a very sly maneuver with her hand. She's done this a couple times in court where she's popping pills and everyone's wondering what she's popping. She clearly has a pill addiction. There was also a liquid addiction too going on in court possibly just putting vodka or something in her water bottle. And so I wanted to know first and foremost, what kind of pill addiction is it? Is it opiate or benzodiazepine? I do have a uh, personal experience with the benzodiazepine, which is often uh, prescribed to people who have panic attacks. And I have a very long history of them. I've gotten over it for the most part, not nearly as bad as it used to be. Uh, so I am speaking from experience. Benzodiazepines are your Xanax, your Valiums, your Clonazepam, your sleeping pills. Also, Ambien is a sister drug. What is a benzodiazepine? It affects your nervous system. It calms everything down. It slows down your breathing. It gets rid of that fight or flight reaction within yourself, um, which is common. Uh, when you're on eggshells, you're nervous. So she's very nervous. She's doing it to calm that all down, to slow down that nervous system uh, so that she can tolerate and sit there. And also she can actually sit there in pleasure because it is basically booze in a pill form. So it is very, that being said, just bear with me for a moment. It is very hard to kick. Uh, the odds, the longer you're on it, the odds of getting off it become very slim to none because of the fact it hits the nervous system and it also is a brain injury. It takes years to heal. It took me several years for my brain to heal. Uh, just to get off a half a milligram, I had to go into a detox facility in Michigan, one of the best ones in Michigan. I was on uh, one milligram nightly for insomnia from being diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. And through that, I was unaware it was even addictive. And I kept trying to get off it through the years and I failed every time. I would end up in the ER with a shot in my ass and sent home back on pills. I tried multiple times. I was clueless. I was like, why can't I get off this? Until I got to the point where I was cutting it myself from a doctor telling me, she goes, I want you off this because you're gonna have dementia, early young dementia, if you don't get off this. You've been on it for seven years, I want you off. So I'm like, great, I've been trying to get off this. So I went home very enthusiastic, used a pill cutter, I got down to half a milligram, and I could not go any further. I looked like a walking skeleton of about 90 pounds. Everyone thought that I had, um, cr I had cancer, that I was terminal and dying. And I ended up flying from California, because I was living there at the time, to Michigan to a facility here where they said I was the sickest one on the floor. Uh, there were heroin addicts basically running circles around me. I remember going to the nurse's station saying, what is wrong with me? Why are these heroin addicts doing so much better than me? And she looked at me and she goes, oh, honey, what you're on is far worse. That was the beginning of my education. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, I really look like death warmed over. And it took, I'm very surprised I survived it. Uh, suicidal ideation is very high. Most fail because either they take themselves out or they go back on it. Uh, very high fail rate. Success rate is extremely slim. Um, unlike with heroin or the street drugs, it's the lifestyle. It's more of a lifestyle where with the pill popping, if you're doing it for medical purposes and then you happen to become physically addicted, which was my case, uh, the mindset is, is there to get off it. It's hard to get off it because it affects your nervous system, your spine, all of that so badly. So the odds of her getting off this, if it is an opiate, is slim to none and same with benzos. Benzos, opiates far easier except if they put you on Suboxone. Suboxone's harder to get off of than heroin or the opiate. Suboxone is far worse, and then they put people on Suboxone in order to 
keep away that craving, keep away that uh, the detox symptoms. But it, it makes their teeth fall out. They have gastrointestinal problems. They cannot have a bowel movement with opiates. Lots of problems. So I'm very experienced in this whole, oh, uh, not the opiates, but with the benzodiazepines. I'm aware of the opiates from another family member. So there you have it. Uh, I suspect it is a benzodiazepine, but I'm going to ask my pendy here. So let's ask. I hope that educated you slightly. If you know someone who's on a benzodiazepine, just know it's the hardest pharmaceutical drug on planet Earth to get off of. So there you go. I hope I didn't worry you too much, but now you know. If you didn't know, you know now, because I didn't know for a good seven years. So here we go. Is she on a benzodiazepine? Did Amber Heard, is she popping benzodiazepines? In court, is she popping benzodiazepines? Yes. Now I'm gonna ask, was it an opiate? Is a painkiller opiate? Is it the opiate category? Is it an opiate? No, no. Is it a benzodiazepine? Is it a benzodiazepine? Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna ask about certain different ones. Is it Xanax? Is it Xanax? Is she popping Xanax? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna ask, uh, is it clonazepam? Is it clonazepam? No. Okay. So is it Valium? Is it Valium? No. Is it Xanax? Is it Xanax? Yes, it's Xanax. Okay. Is it one milligram? Is it one milligram? Is it one milligram? Yes, one milligram. So one milligram Xanax, very addictive. You go, you're on that, you can become addicted to that in a very short period of time. Uh, in, a, in a matter of a month of daily use, your, your body's addicted. So she is probably completely, utterly addicted. So let's get some cards on this Xanax one milligram addiction. Xanax one milligram addiction. Let's get some energy on her addiction and her popping pills. She thinks she's being very clever with the hand gesture. There were some comments stating that when they were addicts, pill popping addicts, that's exactly how they do it. They do it trying to look like they're doing it on the sly, kind of turned her head to the side. And there we go. It gives her strength. It gives her a feeling of strength. It, it controls herself from within. The strength card's all about controlling yourself from within. It's not about controlling other people. It's about controlling yourself. So she, really, she needs this to feel strong in court. Because she feels like everything is emotional manipulation, really, that's a projection. She is the emotional manipulator. She's also unable to find the silver lining in the situation. She knows she can't find the silver lining, so she's feeling kind of desperate irritated, upset, five of cups in reverse represents, um, she's, you know, she's, she's trying to heal from pain, or at least she feels she is. She's trying to move on from it, move away from the pain by popping the pill. Emotional manipulation, she feels like a victim, I would say, but really she's the one who's manipulating. It might make it easier for her to do so because she can't find that silver lining in anything. She doesn't have the ability to love people, to really open herself truly emotionally. If she truly opened herself up emotionally with the King of Cups upright, which is having the ability to express your true emotions, true feelings, be in touch with other people's feelings, channeling it into action, she's not able to do that. She's not able to do that. So it is an inability to control herself. It is moody and ruled by negative feelings, negative emotions, which is, man and then channeling it into manipulation uh, with pr proposals of manipulation. It is not her true feeling. So she's up there lying and that's, that's keeping her intact, keeping control of herself because she has, she, that's the only way she can do it is by popping the pills. Yep, so let's get to the unable to find the silver lining with the five of cups in reverse and see what else we can clarify with this. So she's she's trying to pull herself up. She's really trying to pull herself up and feeling like she can kind of move on with this position. Like, okay, I'm not here, so I'm not sitting in court. It's a way to kind of zone out. She's zoning out. So what is she thinking when she's zoning out? What is she thinking when she's zoning out? She's just sitting there zoning out. What is she thinking? She's moved on emotionally while she's sitting there. She is somewhere else, okay? She's, she is somewhere else. 
Okay, she is stuck in her head. Nine of swords. Yeah, she's stuck in her head. She can't get out of her head, so she zones out. She can't find the silver lining. She goes straight to her head of pain and suffering. Negative thoughts, overanalyzing everything. She's feeling crippled, completely crippled. She realizes everything she's done was reckless. She has no options, so she's running out of options. And everything gilded is not gold. And it is the position of gaslighting the public. She's gaslighting the public. She knows it. She's stuck in her head. She's worried. She's anguished. And she feels that she's hoping also that she can get this nine of pentacles individualism. She also realizes this is what she does a lot. She does this because it's part of who she is with the nine, uh, nine of pentacles. So with the nine of pentacles also, uh, that represents uh, basically fruits of, fruits of labor paying off. Uh, it makes her feel opulent. Uh, it's luxury for her. It's a luxury to pop the pill. It gives her peace. It makes her feel like she's, she's, she's reaching her achievements in life. Uh, her emotional comforts. It gives her an emotional comfort. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is all about emotional comforts, having everything you want, feeling it complete uh, inner peace. So this gives her that feeling that everything's going her way. Uh, that her fruits of labor are going to pay off. So this gives her that calmness through her wrecking ball that she throws here. And this it just gives her peace from her anxiety. This calms this. And she knows she's being reckless. She knows everything is reckless that she does. So it does calm the beast within, basically. And she has no choice. She just, she it's just, it's an addiction. She has to do it. Otherwise, she's going to probably go into full-blown panic attack while sitting there. Now let's get the King of Cups in reverse. Emotional manipulation. What does she think of her emotional manipulation while she's under under the influence? What is she thinking while she's under the influence? When she's under the influence, well, for starters, I have here temperance. It calms herself from within, so it keeps that devil energy from surfacing because she knows she's a manipulator. She knows she cannot connect with people. She knows she cannot connect emotionally. Truly, she's lying. So it gives her that calmness so she doesn't let the devil out. In reverse, the devil comes out of the temperance card. It also is because she knows she's lying. We've got the ace of swords in reverse. She's lying. She's dishonest. She's got mental blocks. And she's making a lot of poor judgments. And she's under a lot of stress. She also knows that she might suffer from poverty, loss, and illness here. So basically, she knows she feels that she's going to lose the case. She really feels deep down she knows she's not winning. So this is another means of comfort to take that conflict. It's a five in reverse. Take the conflict she's feeling within herself and calm it down. Calm it down. It makes her feel like a winner. It makes her feel like a winner. Yep, anytime you do drugs, you feel like a winner. You feel like everybody's going to give you the thumbs up. Once you get high, you feel like everybody's going to give you the approval. So it calms her nerves, calms that anxiety, the conflict within, Due to poor judgment, manipulation, it makes her feel like they just might give me this ace of wands, ace of ace of wands, which is the thumbs up. I'm going to get the approval from them. Uh, this is, you know, this is a desire into the world. I can make this my reality. It's a journey. So she's kind of going into a journey in her mind that quite possibly maybe there's hope for me. She's also removed her boundaries. Her persistence and her boundaries are, re are removed with the Nine of Wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse is burnout. She's tired of sitting there. God, I got another day of court. She knows she's not getting the support. It's without support in this position. She's losing resilience of pushing forward. So this is her only way to get to the last stretch is by pop popping a pill. She knows she, she, she's not close to succeeding. Upright, you're close to succeeding. You're resilient. You're pushing forward. You only got a small way to go to reach that, that reach your goal. You're reaching exhaustion, but you're holding in there. She can't hold in there. She's got to pop the pill because it's helping her to push through, hoping she gets that thumbs up. And then once again, we got another five of swords in reverse. So it's keeping her quiet. She knows she's lying about everything, but it's a way to silence the mind because it is, it is just driving her crazy. So it silenced her mind with the five of swords, with the lies that she's telling herself and telling the, telling the judge, telling everybody. 
And this here with the Five of Swords, is she knows she's going to have to swallow her pride. She doesn't want to swallow her pride. She knows she created this resentment for herself, and it's a way to shut it down to make it quiet. It quiets her brain. It quiets all that anxiety. Let's get to the Strength card, and let's clarify the Strength card. Let's clarify that Strength card. How strong does she feel? Well, we have here the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So she knows that she's not making any slow, steady progress, that they're losing in court. It's just a fail. Every single day is nothing but a lose. A lose, a lose, a lose. They're not dropping positive seeds of doubt about Johnny. They're not making slow, steady progress. It's, it's failing. They're falling off their horse here. So this gives her that inner calmness to just sit there because she has no choice. She has to sit there. So really it is her, it's her bravery pill. It's her hero. It's her hero in a pill is what it is. It gives, it makes her feel strong. Uh, let's get some more cards. Let's get some more and let's find out, will they hold her? Will they talk to her about it? Well, we've got here. Yeah, she's got clarity and awareness that everything's falling apart. Yeah, she's got the, her intuition does say, eh, it's not going well. My life is falling apart right before me. It's all falling apart. So it's it's her hero in a pill. <laughs> that hero song, for some reason, came to my mind before I pushed this. And it makes her feel nurturing, even though it gives her that nurturing abundance feeling that I got it all. It's okay. It's self-calming, self-soothing. It's all falling apart subconsciously. It's okay. I will remain, I will remain this empress with my daughter i will have i'm the mother card i'm the mom i'm nurturing subconsciously she wants to maintain the abundance that she's had in life but she knows also she's losing it she's losing it that queen of pentacles she's going to lose it consciously she knows everything's about to blow up on her and she just wishes people would kiss kiss her at her feet just kiss me at my feet but it's not going to happen. She wants everyone to bow down to her because she was a wealthy woman at one time, hoping to get a lot of money, hoping they would bow down to her. But it's becoming to a point of the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She's very dependent. She's dependent on other people in order to find that nurturing abundance. In order to feel nurturing abundance, she has to use something in order to feel that way. So, yeah, she is just, she's twisted. And she is addicted. And so that's that addicted mind. It calms her. She's very aware. She's very aware that she is just one volcano blow away from losing this, this image she's trying to create in court. She's tried to create this. This is what she was aiming for. That empress, that loving, nurturing other people. I tried helping Johnny. I was there for him for his detox. I loved him. I loved him. It wasn't a hit or a smack. It was just a tap. Uh, but no, she is a volcano. And because of her volcano behavior, because she cannot keep her cool within, everything's falling apart. And she knows she did it to herself. She knows that she would prefer to be nurturing abundance, but she knows that she is not that individual. It's just not there. It's just not there. And so what else do I have here? At the center of the deck also, I have here the strength in reverse. She knows that she's just one one comment away from completely losing it, losing all inner strength. And she knows that she would manifest probably because the strength in reverse would be the devil energy. Uh, it just this devil, another devil side would be coming out of her losing control and that she would be manifesting. God only knows what, because she can make things happen because when she's very angry, get out of her way. Uh, she's capable of manifesting some very dark stuff when she's feeling weak. Uh, that is her weak spot. Her When she's weak, she, she, she does dark stuff. She will do dark stuff. She has the ability to manifest violence, anger, uh, putting someone down to their knees because she cannot control herself. Uh, and then inc inciting anger and rage in other people as well. And then claiming victim. You know, she manifests this anger devil energy. Oh, well, now you're attacking me. Now I'm the victim. I'm so weak. How could you attack me? So it's that victim ploy that she likes to play. And she will pr say that you did it to me. Uh, you know, look what you're doing to me. That's after she triggers someone else 
to defend themselves. Oh, well, look at you. Look how angry you are. You're the one who has a problem. No, just because someone reacts poorly to you, to your, your uh, behavior and manipulation is not, uh, it's not the, it's not the victim's fault. It's the target's fault. So she's really got a twisted, um, twisted uh, mindset because that's how they operate. Uh, with the victim stand. So let's get some more. How does she feel about getting off? How does she feel about getting off this uh, this uh, drug? Because really she should if she doesn't want to uh, become er with early dementia. Early dementia will be her um, something that can happen. And with her drinking wine, she's likely to go to sleep and never wake up. She drinks two bottles of wine a night. With the nervous system shutting down, she could not wake up. She could never wake up. I've known cases of that. Uh, before I did my detox, I know of people who took too much alcohol, popped their normal dosage, didn't overdo it, and just didn't wake up because they had a night of partying. So let's see. Well, she's going to go inward. She is going to think about it. She knows she has to do something. She's got to investigate it. The hermit is someone who will go inward. So she realizes that it's a path that she's got to look at. She's got to look at this path she's chosen. Let's find out what she will do with this. Detox, will she do any detox? Will she detox? Will she detox? And I wouldn't wish that detox on anybody. I really wouldn't. Well, maybe her. But, you know, I'll tell you what. Most It is brutal, brutal. It's the post-acute withdrawal. It's not... It's one thing getting off when you're in the hospital and they put you on all these slew of anti-seizure drugs, stomach medication, and everything under the sun, and then sending you home with about four or five bottles of drugs to get off of half a milligram of a pill. Uh, you know, good luck. It's, it's difficult. It's brutal. So she is going to be in for a ride. We have here four of wands in reverse. So she knows she has a lack of stability. She knows that she will probably likely lose this happy home family feeling that she has with her daughter she could lose her daughter because of her drug addiction so she's looking at it she could lose any sense of stability that she may have this fantasy illusion of or that she thinks she has it could all be lost very easily and we have here also what is this one, this one is the king of wands in reverse she's not in control of her addiction the ruler in reverse king of wands is a ruler she's not in control of it Lack of stability, total lack of stability. The foundation is cracking. Her foundation of who she is, who she thinks she is, is falling apart because she has no control over her addiction and she's got to look at it. Then we also have here, yep, she's got to work at it. She knows she's got to work at detox. It's going to take a lot of work. We have here the seven of wands in reverse. So with the seven of wands in reverse, this is giving up. She's got to give it up because if she doesn't, it's going to destroy her. And she's feeling overwhelmed. So she's got to give it up. She's got to work at it. Next position, it's going to destroy her. It is self-sabotaging herself. It is betrayal to herself. It's betrayal to everyone around her. It is heartache, breakup, separation. She's got to break it up with it. Break it up. Divide it. And she has to leave it out in the cold with the five of pentacles. She's got to leave that out in the cold or she will be left out in the cold without maybe a daughter. And then we have here, everyone will walk away. Everyone will walk away. She'll be left alone because she's an addict. And then we also know here that she is the high priestess in reverse. It is clouded insight to be doing it. She know, she has the, enough of awareness from the earlier spread that it's doing a lot of damage. So she knows she's got to go off it, that, she, that everything can be at risk now because attention has been paid to it. And she has got to do something about it. So I'm going to ask the pendulum now, will she? Will Amber Heard detox off Xanax? Will she detox off Xanax and wine and all her addictions? Will Amber go into detox? Will Amber go into detox after the court trial? Will she go into detox? And I got a maybe. I got a maybe. So it's a thought process. She's going inward. She's, she's thinking about it. She knows what she's doing to herself and that she knows that there's consequences with it. I hope you enjoy this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.